In today's video, I will try to help you understand how to price and estimate a zoo project. It's very common that business owners are asking zoo partners or zoo developers to price a project and sometimes the same set of requirements can range from few hundreds all the way to few tens of thousands based on the same set of functionality and therefore business owners are confused and they have no idea if the guy that offer few hundreds is off track or maybe the guy that offer few tens of thousands is off track. So in this video, I will try to help you understand how to estimate a project. First of all, we need to identify that there are two different types of projects. One, a set of functionality that is very small, such as I need to create a blueprint for my lead system, and that will be considered as a very small activity, or maybe create a script or maybe connect an API from one system to Zoho. All those will be considered as very small tasks and not really a project. And most of them will, will be in the hundreds range. Okay. Most of the work on Zo in general should be very, very simple to do. Nothing's supposed to take too much time. There are some exceptions, of course. Let's say that you do want a blueprint, which is only one thing, but the blueprint includes lots of functionality, lots of automation. Therefore, the blueprint will become an expensive project and it can go to a few thousands. From the other side, if you just have a blueprint, just set of buttons, one or two emails, nothing too special, that for sure will be in the hundreds range. So one, two, three hour, hours maximum. So nothing too special. So if you have a small task, probably it will be in a one, two, three hours, nothing too major. So is a very easy system to develop on. If you have a bigger project, that will be split to two different cases. Case number one, you, the business owner, you created the map, of exactly how your project looks like. And you know exactly step by step what you need and what needs to be done on your system. In that case, you can connect with a Zoho developer or a Zoho partner and they can give you a fixed price proposal for the work. If you do not know what do you need, so you know that you need a solution, I need to have process for my deal system, but you have no idea how you start and end the process, a developer cannot help you. You will need to go to a business consultant to help you map the process. And only then you can go to a developer to estimate. If you will go to a developer without a set of requirements, very clear set of requirements, there is a very good chance that the developer will shoot a price because you don't know what needs to be done. Do you expect someone that is not part of your company to know what needs to be done? Doesn't make sense. So in order for the developer to understand, he will need to have a business consultant to provide him a set of functionality to be executed on Zoho CRM or any Zoho product. Whenever you're dealing with a big project, it's very common that developers will provide a very high estimate because they don't know what needs to be done exactly, or they will give you an hourly basis project. I wouldn't go with hourly basis project unless the project cannot be estimated. So sometimes business owners will want to have, let's say, an integration with a third party. In that case, the developer will need to spend some time learning the APIs or the requirement of the third party, will need to run some tests, and only then you will know how much work is involved to make it happen. In that case, the project must start as an hourly basis, but then it needs to stop and go to a fixed price. In all the other cases, 
that a set of functionality is known from the beginning, I wouldn't recommend going by an hourly basis because then the developer goal is to make money and not give you a result. Okay, most of the developers, some developers are awesome, but I'm talking about the vast majority. Most of the developers are not that busy. And when there is a golden goose that's just giving you hourly based work, it's fantastic. They will slave him and milk him all the way. So it's important to try to go with a fixed price. Now, even when you go with a fixed price, you always want to go with milestones. So let's say my functionality is building a car. The milestone will be first milestone, building the dashboard. Second milestone, installing the, the wheels. Third milestone, painting the car. Fourth milestone, installing the engine. So I'm taking the entire project and I'm breaking it to pieces, digestible pieces that, that the client, you, can digest this milestone, short term, one week milestone, and also to know how much this milestone is going to cost. And the bottom line is, once you have some kind of an understanding of how many milestones and how much money it's going to cost in general, you will also understand how much time and money this project is going to consume. Now, when you have those milestones, it's important to understand not only the first milestone that the developer is going to work on, it's important to understand the entire project because the majority of the projects will end up with 80% done and the last 20%, the developer will say that he has family problems, he cannot proceed with the work, lots of BS. Lots and lots of BS. I even created a video on developers' excuses because I got so many of them because it's very common for developers to start the project because it's very easy to begin a project, but they don't finish it. And then customers calling us and saying, you know what, 80% is done. We're just missing the other 20%. Should be very quick. But that's what the developer told them. The reality is that they have nothing. They have a path that leads nowhere and the system needs to be rebuilt in most of the cases. So when you start a project and even if you slice it to milestones, you need to understand how each milestone is connected to the full picture. And it needs to be a clear picture that you, the business owner, need to understand it. You need to ask all the questions in the world before you deposit one cent of your money. Very, very important. Because if you do not understand it, guess what? The developer for sure will not understand. And if he will get stuck, you have nothing. Okay? So that's very, very important. When you are dealing with a project, you want to know how much money it's supposed to cost. And then you need to go back to the beginning of what I said about small tasks. If you have a milestone and the milestone is creating the car dashboard, it will probably include about seven to 10 tasks to create the dashboard. So there will be a set of tasks related to installing the dashboard. When you take the milestone, it sounds overwhelming. How can I estimate a big milestone that takes a week. From the other side, if you take this milestone and you split it to small tasks, then you will be able to see that you have, let's say, six or seven tasks. Let's assume that each task is supposed to be around $100 or so. Now you will know that the milestone in average will be about $700. And then if you have six of them, now you know the price of the project, okay? Sometimes you will get a project that will have about four milestones, five tasks for each milestone, and the price will be $20,000. Obviously, in most cases, it doesn't make sense. So I hope the framework 
that I just gave you will make sense to you. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions or comment, shoot them in the comments below. Thumbs up is, as usual, always appreciated. Thank you very much for watching this session. We'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.